So the first hand I want to show you guys is the F4 from the Y and Dot Bantam line. I really like this hand, right Abraham? <laughs> I mean she's red, like really dark red. She has models everywhere. Maybe not that clear, not that sharp, but... She appears to be a, a Jubilee variety. Yeah, it's Ancona. like more Jubilee, not really red models. She has a lot of black. She has everywhere she has like a black line between the model and the, the red. No white wings on both sides, I guess, yes. But there is one problem. I don't know, she's now turning three. It's not really that old. But last year, all the eggs that I tried to hatch, they weren't even, I think, yeah, they weren't even fertile. I didn't, uh, yeah. When I put them in the incubator, I didn't even have an embryo in it. So, she also had some problems with... Uh, prolapse. Prolapse? Probably. Uh, <laughs> but was there another hen involved with the same rooster? when uh, you hatched out, or tried to hatch yeah. out her eggs? The Wheaton hen was, she's always with her. And I believe her eggs are much bigger and a little bit more brown. So that was a way for me to determine which egg was from which hen. So I definitely knew it were her eggs. But none of them were fertile, so I don't think this will be a good idea to use her this year. And the other hen's eggs hatched out? Yeah, they did. So I don't think the problem is uh, with the rooster. Apart from that, her comb is not, yeah. it's strange that, that it's like falling to this side but then turning to this side, it should be more like this, but it doesn't really matter now since we're probably not going to use her. So let's take a look at the hands that we are going to use. So now we are going to compare actually like the original line, the first line for my red model project. That was the Ross from the Italianer Bantam Red with Pure Ancona Bantam Black modeled. In the second generation, we had this hand over here. This is, I would say, like a Wheaton modeled. Then over next to her, we have her daughter. The third generation, I would say this is also a Wheaton modeled. The chicks were actually all yellow. I'll uh, see if I have a photo of that. As you can see, she has a lot of more black in her. Then when you add red, you have something like this. So almost a pure red hand. Also some black in the tail. But I believe that the original red Italianers also had some red in them. Uh, I mean some black. So that's not really a problem. And over here, we have my favorite. She's, yeah, you could say this is red mottled. But it's not that sharp, like the mottles aren't that sharp. Not all our feathers have mottles, so we're not there yet. And this is also like a chance, I believe one in 50 or so. So I'm actually very lucky with this hand. Ibrahim already told me he liked this hand. <laughs> Can you tell us why? I think when it comes to size, she's more than okay. Yeah, she's she's very little. She's of an older age and still has nice yellow legs, I think, I presume. The legs aren't that bad. They're a little bit pale, but from what year is she? She's from 2016. I see black ring, so yeah, 2016. So she's turning three years now, this year. Let's take a look at the comb. Like the downside is that it's not leaning towards one side, but it's also not that much of a problem. The comb might actually also be a little bit smaller or shrunken down because of the cold or when they are in a molt. Of course, as you can see, she already is, has gone through her molt. So it might be because of the cold. Because I believe when she was younger that her comb did flip to one side. The wattles. They are good. Earlobes are, as you can see, a lot more, a lot more white than the previous uh, animals I've shown. So that's a good thing too. So in terms of her head, she's quite nice. Eye color is orange, 
also as slack as we want to. Now the feathers. Of course this isn't red mottled. <laughs> But apparently, I believe it was a woman that told us you need to have a wheaten base mm. if you want red with almost no black in it. So that's what I'm aiming for. A good equal division of the mottling as well. Yeah, almost every feather has a, has a mottle. That's true. Strong tail feathers, good looking tail. Maybe a little bit narrow, I don't know, when it comes to type. Yeah. You know that's... more than me. In all my lines, that's actually a big problem, that the tails are a little bit too narrow. So if we have some animals with a more broader tail, like this, it's definitely something I want to keep and reproduce. But I think we can use her this year, yeah? Certainly. First daughter I'm going to show you is actually genetically, I would say, exactly the same as her. Also a wheat and mottled, but she has indeed notice noticeably more black. Let's take a look at the hat. I would say the comb is, uh, is as good as her mother. She has, she has five comb teeth, as we say in Belgium. One, two, three, four, five. And a nice heel, so that's good. Waddles are good. Earlobes, actually very white. Eye color is good. Nice red skin. Legs, I would say nice, nice and yellow. Especially for this time of the year, so that's a good thing. Not carrying a ring? No, it seems that I forgot that. <laughs> but this year the rings were of bad quality, so I didn't feel like ordering a lot, a lot of rings. So. so she was born 2018? She's from last year, yeah. Feathers, no completely white feathers in her rings. Mottles almost everywhere, maybe not in the biggest ring feathers. Mm. It appears to be so. I don't know if it's because she's agitated right now. But I think her tail is a little bit broader. wider yeah. or broader, yeah. So that's a good thing. And her back is also, it appears to be longer than, the, than her mother. Uh, yeah. Which is also yeah. something I would yeah, strive for, I would say. So a nice hand. Maybe a little bit too much black, but we'll see. So over here, we have an actually a complete red hand. She has some black in her tail, but it's not that much. In the neck? In the neck, yeah, you would say, is this black? Maybe a little, yeah, yeah. Also some mottles. <laughs> but the father was carrying mottles. Mother, of course, is mottled. So she should carry mottles too in her jeans. Black color, nice bright yellow, good thing. Her head, a little bit aggressive. She has character. <laughs> I would say, yes, yeah, it's, it's a good comb. Of course, they are still young, so. It might be that in the spring it will fall down to one side. Her wattles are good too, just as her mother and her father. Earlobe, nice shape, nice color, same for the eyes. I'm really liking this hand. A long back, long tail, also not too upright but more horizontal. Let's take a look at the wings. Here you can see some black spe speckles. And the underside is has a lot of black. What color down does she have? Is it all the way red or is it gray or blackish? That's actually the first difference we have. Abraham's always looking at the down color, why I almost never do that. <laughs> <laughs> but why do you do that, Abraham? Well, why do you ask what's the color of the down? I think what I've learned is that if it's a Wheaton based, there is a bigger chance that the color of the down is more reddish or almost orange. Yeah. And when there's an EB base involved, then you should see more black in the down. Oh yeah, it has some black in it, huh? yeah. right? But more than see, some, eh? It's the feather quite shaft. obvious that there's black in the down. Yeah, the feather shaft is actually red. Oh yeah, now it is. I don't know if that's a good thing or... <laughs> no idea. Maybe, yeah. But I think we can use this hand, right? Certainly. Now let me show you my favorite. These are all sisters and they all look the same when they were a chick. In some ways you could say this is one of a million, but <laughs> I think the chances are a little bit more Bigger. in our favor. But they are still very small. I believe it's like 1 in 50 or so that will be red mottled with the combination I've made. So I'm very lucky to have this hand. A little it's bit of black. She here in her in neck, the neck uh, and in the tail. It's more obvious than her sister, yeah. Also in the tail, it's also more, more present. Let's take a look at her head. The comb is already falling to one side, but that's a good thing. Her waddles have a nice shape. Earlobe is good. 
Eye color is good. The color of the, <laughs> the color of the beak is also good. The leg color is yellow. It might even have some black speckles in it too. But of course, it's it's way too early to. There's something of a greenish shine in the legs. I think. <laughs> To me it's not really green, but I can understand what you see. A judge might say it's green <laughs> and make me lose points. Or even disqualify me if I would show her. Her feathers, which are of course most important. I mean, if you look over here, this is almost pure red mottled, right? She still has some black in her. Let's take a look at her down. It's like... There's less grey or, or black less, in the eh? down right? than her sisters. It's more of a reddish color. Feather shaft is also red. Might be a good sign. But as you can see, the, the models are a little bit faded into the red. They are not like... It's not a sharp line. So that's something we'll have to work on. Apart from that... In terms of type, she looks more like her mother. The tail, as you can see, it's a little bit more upright. Also a little bit shorter, also narrow. She doesn't have the white broad tail. With the right ro rooster, you can get good results. Results, I believe. <laughs> How to catch a chicken? The Yokohama Bantam crosses. For me, the the main difference between the rooster, so her brother. Is a chest, almost no mottles. And I have four hands. Better. Right is tight. Hold faster. Yeah, left is loose and right is tight. So the hands almost have no mottles in them, while the rooster did have a lot of mottles. Great leg color. The leg color is indeed very good. It's a nice bright yellow. And they all have this trait, so that's a really good thing. When we look at the head, yeah, she has no wattles, also no comb. Or you might say it's like a, a pea comb or something like that. But the earlobe for the first generation is already... Yeah, it's white, I would say. No? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because I believe Yokohama Bantams have pure red ears. So, so that's already a good thing. In terms of mottles, she does have some in her wings, right? And on the back. And on the back too, yeah. And it goes until... It's still? In, it, in, it, in her tail too, yeah. In the saddle. I really like this sand. She's also quite reddish. The wings, she does have, yeah. They're not completely white or blue, but there's still some work uh, to do over here. The neck is blue, so you might say that uh, Yokohama Bantam are splash based because the father was black. But in the tail, you would rather say it's like more of a splash thing, right? Abel? Yeah, especially because you see some black spots or black markings. Yeah, we even have a completely, even two almost completely black feathers. But yeah, of course, for our for the project now, it doesn't really matter since it's the first generation. I do have to say they look more like a Yokohama than, than an Ancona, right? True. As you compare to her father. Of course, he's also not a pure Ancona Bantam, but... <laughs> Hand number two. As you can see, she's a little bit bigger. Which is also older, so that might be the reason why she's bigger. What do you think, Abraham? What's the first thing you notice that's like a good trait or a bad trait? Mm. She definitely appears to have less markings, less mottling. Yeah, she doesn't really have mottles in her. Maybe a little bit in her wings over here. The chest, absolutely nothing, right? Mm -hmm. It's so strange because Yokohamas have, yeah, are they mottles or more spangled? Her father is, I would say, mottled. Let's take a look at the head now. Look more at this of a earlobe. So white in the third generation already. And she already has some wattles. And the she has comb. more of a comb as well than her sister. Yeah. It's not the it's right not one. Really a pico too, I would say. I don't know <laughs> what you would call this. 
But yeah, for the first generation, it doesn't really matter. I hope she carries the single comb. What I do like about the cross between the Yokohama is that the tail is much longer now. And also more horizontal. Leg color is also great on this hand, as in all the other ones. But I think this is my least favorite one. She looks heavier. She looks. She's quite heavy, yeah. Maybe it's. Or, yeah, I would say she's too heavy for a ba true bantam. She's older as well than the previous one, right? Yeah. She's from an older, uh, from a first batch. What I personally like about her is that her red is really dark. For a hen, it's, uh, it's quite dark. Hand number two. Number three, I think. Oh yeah, number three, yeah. you're correct. Let's take a look at the head first. Here the earlobes are more reddish, right? Yep. It's a clear difference. A little bit of wattles, but not much. No comb, or maybe like a pea, pea comb-ish <laughs> thing. <laughs> Eye color is good, orange. Her neck, she's more blue, right? Yep. That she has might, the more distinctive uh, blue color than any other of her sisters. Yeah, that might be actually some proof that our hypothesis, so that uh, Yokohama Bantam is splash. So when you combine it with a black rooster, you have something blue. But then when you look at her tail, this is almost white. Of course, yeah, she's a little bit dirty now. <laughs> I'm sorry for that, but as you can see, I wouldn't say this is blue, it's more like a splash. And again those black feathers. Yeah. In terms of mottles, she does have a little bit more than her previous sister. But not as much as the first one, right? And it's lot much more chaotic. Yeah, it's more chaotic. And the saddle too, it's like... She even has white in the middle of her feather. Mm. Yeah, of course, and when you're breeding Yokohamas, you want, I believe, the whole saddle to be white. Wings, also the same as her sisters. Let's take a look at the chest. She has some mottles, right? Yep. That's a good thing. It's not much, but she has some, some mottles in her. Right, next hand. And I believe it's my favorite from the, the older one. Why is this your favorite? Why is this my favorite? Just take a look at her neck. I would say this is like you would call Jubilee or um, Millefleur, right? It's not like But she appears wide to be the, 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 the most goldish, the less red-ish. Yeah. It isn't She's the dark mahogany gold. red that you want, no, I think. No, that's true. Or I believe it's more better to have a gold base than like a pure uh, blue or splash, right? Mm. When you take a look at really her head, not her neck, I would say those are models, right? Something I really like about her. So when we look at her head now, she has some models. Of course not the nice long ones we want in an Ancona Bantam, but that's fine. Earlobes, already almost pure white. <laughs> that's a good thing. Orange eyes, but also again like a strange peacomb-ish thing. A tumor on the head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hopefully it's not a tumor, but <laughs> I really, yeah, I really like her head and her neck. The saddle, would you say this is mottled? Maybe not really. There are spots, definitely. But... Yeah, there are wings too, but it's not really sharp. Tail. I think she has the more red as a, as the ground color, in terms of when, when we speak of the saddle, the other hands are or pullets are, are more bluish grayish. So indeed the saddle is more red than her sister's, that's, that's a good thing. And it even goes in her tail, as you can see. The other ones had a white tail, right? Yeah, true. Or almost white. Also again, a black, a little bit black in the feathers, the tail feathers. Let's take a look at the chest and the belly. I would say no models, right? No. Nope. It's also not 
that red is like more brownish. Mm -hmm. With the right rooster, I think we can get something good out of her.